As we talked about the harmful effect or the detrimental drawback of junk food in an opinion essay, writing our views against uh, consum the consumption of fast food regularly, we're going to talk about a very important topic when it comes to a debatable topic where you have two people, I mean, two kinds of people, those who are against and those who are for it. Today's topic is really controversial and debatable. Whether the cinema is a thing from the past, yes or no? Write a magazine article with your views. And the question in different rubric, write a balanced discussion or a balanced argument as the cinema is a thing from the past. So if you required to, if you are required to write about your own views, so you will stick to the opinion essay, which is one-sided. Either you with against with it or against it. As for the second kind of writing, which is the balance, offering a balanced discussion, you have to state the positivities and the negativities of going to the cinema. So for me as a person, cinemas will remain timeless. Timeless experience that offers a vibrant, cherished atmosphere and ir irreplaceable that you can never find the vibes at home. Similar vibes, you will never find a, a huge screen that, that is offered by the cinema. You will never find this, um, the, the strength or the strong uh, effect of the, uh, the, the systems that can indulge you or immerse you inside the movie and put you, make you feel like you're one of the characters. So today we are going to learn about how to introduce that topic in both way, the opinion and argumentative articles. So introduction for the cinema being a timeless thing, we can say that with the rise of streaming platforms and the convenience of home entertainment systems, some argue that the cinema is becoming obsolete and obsolete means it's thing from a past. It's no longer in use. It's not contemporary. It's not up, up to date. It's old fashioned and it's not necessary. So some argue that cinema is becoming obsolete, really gated to the annals of the past. It means that it belongs to the past only. However, this viewpoint fails to acknowledge the unique and irreplaceable experience that cinemas offer. Despite technological advancements, the cinema remains a vibrant and cherished institution connected people together. I mean, you can go with your families, when you, with your friends, with your relatives, the loved ones, and create everlasting or like long-lasting uh, uh, moments there. So that's why they are remaining cherished, connecting people through shared of emotion and collective, collective laughter and captivating storyteller. So this essay will argue, or I can start that, that way. I personally believe that cinema is far from being a thing from the past or a thing of the past, as it continues to captivate the audience, fostering a sense of community. And what I mean by to foster a sense of community means it encourages the sense of community and unity at the same time, because it unites people together and uh, it strengthens maybe the bonds and creating uh, long lasting memories or memorable moments. Providing an unparalleled cinematic experience. Unparalleled maybe it's incomparable, irreplaceable. One can never replicate the same experience at home. This is for the introduction. As for the body. Body one here is talking about one way the cinema will remain timeless is that it um, offers a magical quality or a magical atmosphere that draws the audience in. And notice here the language when I say it provides, it offers, it has always possessed a magical quality that draws its audience. Um, the immersive power of the largest scream and surround sound system here creates, creates an unparalleled uh, viewing experience or incomparable vibes. The cinema offers an escape. For example, for example, the cinema offers escape from the reality, from the hectic life, uh, from the shackles of life, from the burdens of life. 
It's a stress relieving from everyday hectic life and it offers escapes away from the distractions of daily life, allowing viewers to fully immerse themselves in the film's narrative. Okay, the sheer size of the screen and the communal atmosphere heightens emotion. So notice here the use of the verb, because last time when we were talking about junk food, we say that junk food usually weakens the immune system, uh, unlike exercising and workout, which boost or strengthen the immunity system and health or the blood circulation. So weakens, strengthen, here heightens, like increase. So um, as we were saying here, the communal atmosphere heightened the emotion, transporting viewers into the world of the film. You can also talk about that uh, maybe when you go and watch a comedy film, okay, usually you got this moment of laughter, and laughter is something we can call contagious or infectious. And when you, somebody is laughing, everybody laughs in a way. So it's contagious. So that's why we say shared emotion. We got the common sense of, you know, shared uh, emotion and laughter. So as a result of that, this unique experience cannot be re repeated at home or replicated, making the cinema an essential part of the film industry. So notice how I inserted the, the, the connectors here. Allow me to write and insert the connector here, which is hence comma, I can here add, in addition or in other words, okay, so, because here I got the subtitle, when I want you to, well, I want you to write the essay without any subtitles, of course, subtitles is not recommended at all in the opinion is essay. Either the opinion essay or the, the argumentative one, they should be devoid of subtitles, of course. So you have to just write the paragraph. And here you can start with the uh, intro, how to like an intro connector, which is to start with initially, first and foremost, uh, uh, we can say also, most importantly, by and large, so we, we still have this, you know, um, entrances to the paragraph. So we can say here, initially, okay, by and large means basically, okay, or generally speaking, fine. So it's okay. Let's move to the second body paragraph, which is also supporting the idea of going to the cinema. We're supporting the idea that cinema, cinema, the cinema will remain uh, uh, a compelling experience for everybody. Fostering a sense of community, this one is a good one to use here. So you can say another feature, another advantage of going to the cinema is that it has um, providing a shared of experience, like a long served as a meeting place or a gathering point it has become a social event with friends and families. Can stress on that point. The collective reaction, as I told you, the contagious laughters and gasps, create a sense of what? Of unity and shared emotions. Furthermore, notice this connector, the cinema serves as a platform of cultural events, film festivals, and premieres. Okay, notice the language of the topic. As I told you before, you should Look for the relevant words in order to gain higher marks, okay? I want you to hit the mark. If you hit the mark, so you did something brilliant, which is connecting the relative words or the diction, the suitable diction for the topic here. Um, fostering a vibrant community of film lovers. So this sense of community is invaluable and cannot be replicated or repeated or found elsewhere. Okay, by watching a movie alone or at home, for example, here. Okay, so how it's fostering a sense of community, how it has a magical atmosphere or irreplaceable experience, or this vibrant mood or vibes. Also notice the word ambience, because ambience is a good word to use instead of using atmosphere. Again, we use words interchangeably. 
So don't stick to the word atmosphere. Don't stick to the word, uh, um, uh, for example, cinema. We can say movie theater. We can say cinema. We can say uh, this majestic place. You know, refer to it as a majestic place. Okay. Three, unparalleled um, cinema experience. experience. The cinema offers a unique and enhanced cinematic experience that cannot be matched by home entertainment system. Because actually, the opposing views will contradict this idea. I can watch a movie, like, okay, the other side of a, on the other side of the spectrum, or on the other hand, we have people that claim that cinemas are obsolete because we got many platforms that we can watch a movie with a click of a finger while sitting or lazing about at home, doing nothing. So it's good for lazy people feeling lethargic because, okay, it will actually uh, allow them to get rid of this, you know, hassle of getting uh, dressed or getting prepared to go to the cinema. So it will, you know, save time. With a click of a finger, you can watch it and you can save money, by the way, because take, cinema tickets now are really expensive, you know, especially during inflation, because we are suffering inflation in this, you know, economic depression we're suffering from. Tickets are really, yeah, have become very uh, expensive. Okay, sometimes movies also can, is, is never worthy the price of the ticket. So uh, that's why they have their point set. So, uh, I mean, I'm talking about the other view. If, we are, if we're going to talk about the other body paragraph, if we are doing an argumentative essay. We will, fi we will find this on the other hand. You can write on the other hand, comma. Uh, other people argue that, or other people have dim view of going to the cinema. Okay, uh, as a timeless experience because they find it easier and time, uh, time saver to watch a movie with a click of a finger in any of their platforms because, you know, with the advancement of technology, as we said in the introduction, we got m streaming of platforms nowadays that we can watch a movie through. So, and it will be uh, cheaper. So, the carefully designed here sound system, state of art projector, and comfortable seating arrangement contribute to an immersive experience. So again, notice the language, notice the phrase immersive experience, contribute to, okay, seating arrangements, okay, that heightens the impact of the film. Okay, another point is, because now cinema, cinemas, I mean, have become very, uh, elevated and contemporary, updated with the recent uh, um, most cutting edge technolog technological age. So we, we, we still have that kind of uh, 3D movie or you can actually go and watch uh, an IMAX movie where you, where you got uh, 3D cinematography or view of a movie with some of the, you know, extraneous factors or features in, uh, while watching, like, okay, you got a water splash. If you are finding out that the actor is, you know, um, jumping out from a stream or a cascade or whatever, you can actually, they can move the chair while watching, while driving a car. So you feel the vibes as if you are one of the movie characters through the IMAX experience. This is a good point. The cinema provides a dark environment free from distraction, of course, allowing viewers to view, view fully engage with the film. The anticipation and excitement of watching a film in the big, on the big screen, surrounded by fellow moviegoers, so I can say audience, moviegoers, okay, visitors, adds a layer of excitement and authenticity that cannot be replicated, that cannot be repeated at home, okay? So notice here that uh, I, I've written here the two body paragraph which supporting that cinemas are nothing from the past. However, they are thing from uh, that would remain timeless and, and, and contemporary all the time. And it suits suitable for many age ages, I mean age groups. It, it can be entertaining for uh, uh, adults as well as youngsters and children or juveniles. Another way to say children is juvenile. Conclusion here, which where I have to state my opinion once more. However, 
after what I have stated above, of course, the reader will realize that I'm, I'm totally for it. I'm totally supporting the idea that cinemas will remain timeless. While streaming platforms and home entertainment system have undoubtedly changed the way we consume media, so here I can add, in a nutshell, I can add, to sum up, I can, or I can write, to summarize, everything stated above, or I have stated so far, and notice that I, I actually haven't put any kind of contraction here. I, I didn't say everything. I have stated. No, I have stated. Because semi-formal writings should not have, should ha should not have the inclusion of uh, contractions. I have stated so far, comma, then I can say that uh, the cinema is undoubtedly a way, sorry for that, inconvenience. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Will remain a cherished and relevant institution. The ability to captivate audience, fostering a sense of community, providing an unparalleled. Now we can actually, we do not, you know, we. Here we go. I just wrote this because I don't want you to repeat the whole thing once more. So that's why I have to cross all of these because people uh, find it easy to copy from above to write a summarized statement. I don't want you to co copy anything from above. I want you to come up with another uh, uh, summary that have different structure and different techniques. So we can say it, uh, it's a timeless because we never mentioned this. In my point of view, cinema will remain timely, a timeless experience for generations to come or for the current generation and the posterity. What do we go for posterity? Posterity means future generation will also enjoy this kind of experience because it will remain timeless and it will actually meeting everybody's expectation. And uh, posterity, sorry for that. Posterity. Mm -hmm. Okay, it means future generation. Okay, so again, just to wrap up the video of today. I talked about how to be one-sided and how do I have a balanced discussion about a topic, a debatable thing like the topic of the cinema and the topic of keeping animals in the captivities or the cinema is a thing from the past. We can have millions of topics that is debatable having opposing views and make it as an argumentative. One of the best debatable topics or ongoing debates is whether uh, whether it's it's better to have a pet, whether it's it's good or advantageous to keep a pet or own a pet or not. Okay, so we got many points to discuss this. So I will I will actually say the out loud the points in in the for side and the against side. And what you have to do is to combine everything in a composition or a balanced argument in your assignment. Um, Keep owning pets is actually a good thing, especially in the modern era. Whether you agree or not, you will come up with a good introduction mentioning that it's, there is an ongoing debate about it. You can talk about the roles of animals in our lives, okay? Uh, talk about the interaction between human beings and animals and how they can, um, and how they interact together. However, you can set one body paragraph for the advantages of keeping a pet and the other paragraph will discuss the flows of having pets at home okay uh, maybe the, the the four points i will help you to have this um, uh, opposing views okay and you will get the four i can say the one reason why uh, keeping a pet at home is disadvantageous 
is really not good or it's not、uh, proper is that they ruin the house, they ruin the furniture.、Um, They can cause horrible smells unless you have a huge space or sp spacious space in your house.、Um, it's requiring、um, like a horrible sense of duty that it, it's hectic. That you have to change the litter boxes,、uh, you have to feed them, you have to provide them with good nutri nutrients or a good nutrition plan or dietitian plan. You have to groom them on a regular basis. You have to. Uh, if if, the, if you're having a, a dogs pets, you have to walk them on a regular basis, and you have to、uh, spend some time with them. So、uh, it has much responsibilities and duties. You should know your duties.、Um, you can you should provide them with the accurate health care, and it's all of these things. Actually, it's 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 costly. So it's pricey. It's cost money and effort. They they cost money and effort. So. Maybe it's unaffordable for some people to do this, and it, it, they are having an economic burden here. We're talking about the economic burden、uh, pets can have on the individual. So、uh, we can write about the flows in terms of the consumption, money and time consumption, energy consumption, and how by providing example as I, as I told you how to do this through examples.、Uh, I think the four points you know. Because they are, they can form a good companion. Those who support raising a, a, a pet usually will say that the the they are making a good co companionship. They are making good friends. They they keep boredom at bay, or they they just drive boredom away. Um, um, they are having such a, a a protection for the person or for its owner. Um, they tote a, a, a good sense of responsibility or a big deal of responsibility. You know your responsibility, especially for kids or children. They know that they have a duty towards the animal, and they tote,、uh, or usually they teach responsibility.、Um, what else we can write? You can search. You can make your own search, and you can come up with a good argumentative essay about having pets, and make it as a magazine article. And write your views. Don't forget to write your views and the conclusion. See you later. Bye.